texture painting with Blender. Here's a new tip for painting roughness. We start with the project from the previous part, where we painted this wooden handle. Here you can see the shader editor with the notes set up for the material. For the wood we use the texture for the bump mapping and the base color. And for the red paint overlay, we mixed in another principled shader using the mix shader node. And now you can see we can adjust the properties of these mixed principled shaders independently. So it can change the roughness, for example here, of the wood, but it doesn't affect the red paint. And the same applies for the other principled shader. I can do this for the base color slot as well, for every property of the shader. Okay, but what I want to do now is I want to paint a certain slot, in this case the roughness for the paint overlay. So switch to texture painting. And then you can see on the right side, in the active tool panel, the different texture slots. For example here the base color and the mask for the overlay. Alright, so let's go ahead and add a new slot to paint in the roughness. This one here, roughness. I call it roughness paint and set the resolution to 2K. And you see it is connected to the paint shader, which is exactly what we want. But if you would like to paint the roughness for all shaders, you could connect it to the first shader as well. Okay, so let's have a look how to paint the roughness. You see the default background of the image for the roughness is grey. If it would be white, this means fully rough, and black looks more like a wet surface. So turn now to a black tone, press F to increase the brush size, and then I paint with the black tone onto the mesh. And here see the areas where I paint, this looks like a wet or shiny surface. On the other hand, when I turn it to white, I can paint in pure roughness. But it's a bit too extreme, so I use a grey tone. Yeah, and that's basically what I wanted to show. Of course you can change the color or other slots separately. I know it's a simple tip, but I use it a lot for painting my textures. So guys, that's it again. I hope you liked the video. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe to JNM. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. Support me by being my patron or join here as a channel member. Nice perks are waiting, add your questions here to the comments and I'll see you in the next one.